Dear colleagues, today I will show you how to design easy and rapidly a gene. So the database we will use is the Uniprot. Uniprot, go to Uniprot and write here your gene of interest, for example PPR and gamma. Here we have some results, you have to know what you are looking for. So not a co-activator of PPR gamma, but PPR gamma itself. Here is the Homo sapiens PPR gamma. So let's click on it and you will see a list of relevant informations, but the most relevant for us today is its structure. The whole amino acid has 505 amino acids and the ligon binding domain starts at 317. There is an interaction region up to 280 base pairs. It has a, a DNA binding domain with two zinc fingers. So let's go and use the ligand binding domain. Here you see the ligand binding domain, and as I told you, the interaction domain ends at 280. So let's use this sequence to design a gene. And for this, let's go to gene design. Here you see gene design, we will use reverse translation. So please copy paste this sequence and also insert a bit of the hinge region like this sequence here. We select the organism, the organism is Homo sapiens in this case. See if you do it in E. coli, a different table would be used, and you press reverse translate, and this is the sequence we generated. We have to remove some restriction enzyme sites. I don't know why this uh, warning uh, signal is war warning uh, information is here, but we will use our biobic standard, standard from Tom Knight from 19th of November. You see here which are the, the non-allowed restriction enzyme cutting sites. So we have to carefully check, for example, for EcoR1, whether EcoR1 is hidden on this list. You see Eco, Eco, Eco P, EcoR2, but EcoR1 is not here. So we go and check one by one for this restriction enzyme cutting sites. So what we found it's PVU2 three sites and PST5 five sites. So let's press to remove these sites. And what we got it's the sequence of the uh, PPR gamma LBD. So let's go to building block design. Let's write here PPR gamma, human PPR gamma LBD. Target oligo length should be 60 base pairs, all the defaults here, and design oligos. Okay, this is the result. This can be seen in depth format too, assembly oligos. We see we can't generate this from 16 oligos that can be uh, ordered individually. Okay, if we would like to use shorter oligos, we can put here 50 base pair long oligos. In this case, we have 22 oligos. It's worth saving both lists. So we have here a list of 22 oligos for PPR gamma, which are shorter. Shorter oligos are cheaper. And we have different lists, a bit longer oligos. Longer oligos are a bit more difficult to synthesize. So this is the list we generated. These lists can be used for ordering the oligos and assembling the gene. It's worth saving these lists, so just simply copy and put them in a Word document. You 
can put both lists in the same document. And save it with a name which is clear, like PPR Gamma LBD only goes to gene design, gene synthesis. Okay, so save this file. And now we can go back and try to put the suffixes. So I don't know if we can insert here nucleotide. Yes, we can. So let's go back to our standard. And here in our standard, you see that there is a suffix and a prefix. So the five prime part has to contain these prefix so let's insert this prefix okay take out the enters and put the suffix at the end of the sequence okay take out the spaces and right here Suf ref. Okay. Design oligos. And we have it with suffixes and prefixes. So let's put it this in the same file. Okay, let's go back. And modify this to 60 base pairs. Design the oligos. And see the sequences. So we simply copy paste this here also. It has a suffix prefix, so we don't have to save, uh, put it again. Simply save it, and we are done. So I don't think this is complicated, and I'm pretty sure that every one of us can design a gene from now on with all the components that are needed to be inserted in our standard. So I wish you good luck and take care. Let's go and design genes. Bye bye.